Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture reading with the Yabajin. And today's scripture reading is Chokma Shalama, or Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16. And a good book to read in conjunction with this one is the book of Proverbs. So our scripture reading for today reads as follows. Therefore, by the like were they punished worthily, and by the multitude of beasts tormented, instead of which punishment dealing graciously with your own people, you prepared for them meat of a strange taste, even quails to stir up their appetite, to the end that they, desiring food, might for the ugly sight of the beasts sent among them loathe even that which they must needs desire, but these suffering penury for a short space might be partakers of a strange taste, for it was requisite that upon them exercising tyranny should come penury, which they could not avoid, but to these it should only be showed how their enemies were tormented. For when the horrible fierceness of beasts came upon these, and they perished with the stings of crooked serpents, your wrath endured not forever, but they were troubled for a small season, that they might be admonished, having a sign of Yeshua to put them in remembrance of the commandment of your Torah. For he that turned himself toward it was not saved by the thing that he saw, but by you that are the Savior of all. And in this you made your enemies confess that it is you who deliver from all evil. For them the bitings of grasshoppers and flies killed, neither was there found any remedy for their life, for they were worthy to be punished by such. But your sons, not the very teeth of venomous dragons overcame, for your mercy was ever by them and healed them. For they were pricked that they should remember your words and were quickly saved that not falling into deep forgetfulness, they might be continually mindful of your goodness. For it was neither herb or mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but your word, O Yahuwah, which heals all things. For you have power of life and death. You lead to the gates of Sheol and bring up again. A man indeed kills through his malice, and the Ruach, when it is gone forth, returns not, neither the soul received up comes again. But it is not possible to escape your hand, for the wicked that denied to know you were scourged by the strength of your arm. With strange rains, hails, and showers were they persecuted, that they could not avoid and through fire were they consumed. For which is most to be wondered at, the fire had more force in the water that quenches all things, for the world fights for the righteous. For some time the flame was mitigated that it might not burn up the beasts that were sent against the wicked, but themselves might see and perceive that they were persecuted with the judgment of Elohim. And at another time it burns even in the midst of water above the power of fire, that it might destroy the fruits of an unjust land. Instead, whereof you fed your own people with angels' food, and did send them from heaven bread prepared without their labor, able to content every man's delight, and agreeing to every taste. For your sustenance declared your sweetness unto your children, and serving to the appetite of the eater, tempered itself to every man's liking. But snow and ice endured the fire, and melted not, that they might know that fire burning in the hail, and sparkling in the rain, did destroy the fruits of the enemies. But this again 
did even forget his own strength that the righteous might be nourished for the creature that serves you who are the maker increases his strength against the unrighteous for their punishment and abates his strength for the benefit of such as put their trust in you therefore even then was it altered into all fashions and was obedient to your grace that nourishes all things according to the desire of them that had need that your children o yahuwah whom you love might know that it is not the growing of fruits that nourishes man but that it is your word which preserves them that put their trust in you for that which was not destroyed of the fire being warmed with a little sunbeam soon melted away that it might be known that we must prevent the sun to give you thanks and at the day spring pray unto you for the hope of the unthankful shall melt away as the winter's hoar frost and shall run away as unprofitable water that was the scripture reading of chokma shalama or wisdom of solomon chapter 16 and with that i will leave you with shalom